Hello and welcome back to Factorio Fix It. My name's Negative Root and let's get cracking. Today we're playing in a factory by Mr. Anderson. Gratuitous uh, matrix reference out of the way. Uh, let's get cracking with this factory and see what we can do. Now, he uh, like to firstly uh, acknowledge that uh, Ron has uh, been a, I don't know, a bit of a, a solid fan of mine. He, he always watches my uh, videos by the looks and, and he always goes to the cr uh, trouble of commenting. So, uh, first things first, yeah, thanks Ron for that, and he's decided to send through a factory for me to have a look at. Now, this is a very late game factory. The reason I know it's a late game factory is because of that. It's, uh, he's gotten it all the way, and which is a great effort. Now, I'd, when I was running around, I couldn't really spot anything wrong with the factory. Indeed, because he's breached uh, rocket defense, um, he's done everything right, which can only be a good thing. Now he uh, he's got a, f a few things going on that I'll I'll just run through. Uh, this will be a bit more of a tour rather than a fix it. Now uh, we have obviously raw materials coming in and into our smelter setup. Pretty standard stuff. They uh, they get split out to the various uh, parts of the factory. You'll notice here that he's got a really nice design of actually uh, flipping it onto one side of the belt. Now because I'm anal like this uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, change it a little bit there we go no bends and also what you wouldn't want to do there is something like this because that'll ensure compression hey look at that wonderful anyway he does that so that uh, down here you can put things onto each side of the belt uh, which is good plan good plan uh, we've got our research area over here which is nice and uh, we've got our red signs, just four of them. Uh, it's all uh, being made, you know, fairly locally. We've got our um, cir uh, uh, circuits, gear wheels being made here. And you'll notice this is running on a wire condition. This says work when there's less than 500. This says work when there's greater than 100. So it's kind of like a uh, endless loop. Now, I'll ditch the night vision so that you guys can see normally. Um, you'll notice that we've got the typical factory setup for logistics bots, uh, passive providers, requested chests, and whatnot going on. Uh, we've got um, you know some bare the the basics of the factory are, are very very straightforward. Uh, we've got smelting down here coming up. We're doing uh, red, green, blue, purple. Okay, and then on the right hand side of the factory we're doing mm, circuit builds for our green circuits and our red circuits. Now this this kind of idea isn't uh, isn't bad. You notice that it's actually uh, it's going at the right speed. The only issue is how quickly we're getting iron into this part of the system, but it seems to be working. Now it is a 60 hour factory. 60 hours. That's that's an effort and a half. And the thing I noticed about this factory is that production rates aren't overly high. You know, he's only crunching out 150 circuits a minute. And uh, we see over 10 minutes, um, you know, it's averages out to about 91. And you can see that we're not really doing a lot with um, the overall production in the factory. It's been pretty stable. You know, over 50 hours, you see that the production hasn't really changed much. You know, it's certainly increased, but it hasn't been huge. So the thing about this factory is not that it's wrong, it's just got a smaller throughput than you would normally see out of most factories this age. So a lot of resources have clearly been put into getting rocket defense uh, without doing extra builds. Uh, you know, normally I would run a lot more circuit production so that I could crunch out more. You'll notice here that he's running it off a common line. So the circuits are coming out onto this middle line. And then some of them are being used for the red circuits, which is a very good idea. The leftovers are being thrown into providers and put into the logistics system. Now you'll notice that it's not running quite quick enough. So that's possibly somewhere where uh, Ron would uh, like to improve if he needs to. Now this up here is interesting because why? Okay, this is emergency 
uh, if there is less than 700 so if I pinch them you'll notice that this suddenly takes off uh, this is a very nice build for doing um, doing red circuits uh, you'll notice that if this isn't fast enough right you can do one of two things. You can do the ugly thing and put a red inserter going over a blue inserter and have them kind of working together, or you can just split this off and bring it in up here and do the same thing. Now the module build is pretty straightforward. It's just one of each. Uh, we've got speed two, uh, speed one, speed two, and speed three. Uh, effectivity, yes, effectivity one, two, and three, and the productivity one, two, and three very very straightforward and naturally over time Ron's come up with enough resources to do the rocket defense we'll continue with our tour and we'll have a look at a few other bits and pieces notice down here that the oil setup is very straightforward there's not ter terribly much going on there's not a huge setup like you see in some factories uh, namely mine <laughs> and it's all just devoted to you know getting the right amount of things now everything is being cracked down, right? Everything is being cracked down to light and then into petroleum. Now I think that's actually somewhere we, we could uh, we could actually be of assistance. So let's uh, go over and do it. Oops. Now just looking quickly, we can see that these are working. Okay, there's a bit of an issue with crude right now, which uh, you know you can overcome it with a bit of work. But the big issue is the fact that we have too much crude oil. So let's get that worked out right here, right now. Now, what have we got? Right. So let's uh, just have a look here. So we're going to copy and paste that. Now we're going to want, well, this should be fairly straightforward now that I'm looking at it and thinking about it there it is oh I had a ton of them anyway ooh nasty uh, alright different plan uh, same idea where'd it go there it is okay okay just like that right and now what we'll do is we'll come here like this, grab that, connect that up. So that's our heavy oil, right? Hooked in, sorted. We might just grab another one of these plants. It's probably overkill. Well, it definitely is overkill, uh, but we'll do it anyway because funsies. Okay. Water, 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 water. Done. Okay, now we need to hook this up because otherwise it's going to have a fit. Right, so that's that sorted. And that'll just, um, that'll steadily drain that out if I wanted to. And I had the will, I could uh, do something like this. Now this is probably the, the right spacing that you want for this kind of thing. But uh, anyway, this is what we'll run with. Connect up. Grab you to there. Right here. Not quite enough. Once you've got these standard builds sorted in your head, you can kind of, you know very easily what you're going to do. And there we go. We we'll use a small power pole for that. Ugly, I know, but whatever. So that will sort out the heavy oil situation. And I'll put it into light oil, and that light oil will actually be cracked down now, which is a good thing. It uh, Getting it all to petroleum just makes it much easier to handle with your brain and prevents you from, you know, doing things wrong. Now we'll go for a bit of a tour out here and see what's happening. But these are just resource collection um, spots. They're all defended quite well with uh, walls and turrets. And, you know, generally it's a... I've done something wrong there.
Yep, that's destroyed. Anyway. Oh, car. Let's, let's nick that. And do a bit of a tour. Alright, so here's the first uh, outpost. You'll notice that this is dry. So it's no longer working. Yeah, upgraded shotgun. Okay, we've got... We've got a chain of um, logistics ports coming down here to this uh, iron collection point. This is a really nice uh, amount of iron to be drawing from and this comes back into the factory via this line. Now the only thing I would do here, apart from kill trees, is very very simple right? It's just to compress this line. Okay. Uh, Right now, you know, there's not really enough mining going on. But this is kind of falling into that trap of, as I said before, this this factory is quite minimalist. It doesn't have more than it strictly needs. It has exactly as much as it does. Okay, let's throw that down there. Put that there. And that there. And that should improve our thr throughput somewhat. Oops. Go right. Darn ski. Right. Now we should get compression here. I'm hoping we get compression. Okay, maybe we need to just overkill it. We'll do that. Right here. Nearly there. Still flying quite smoothly. And ideally I want it to be backing up because that's how I do things. Mining drill. There we go. Now that's overkill with resources, but whatever. No, still not quite there. More miners. Let's uh, keep going then. And in this way I'll make sure that the, amount, the maximum amount of resources I can are flowing towards the factory at all given points in time. go. Right here. That should get us there. You notice that this inside line is starting to back up now, so that's a good thing. What we'll do is we'll just come out here, put these walls back down, and we'll do a big splitter whoop, for this one. Okay. Come up and in. Up and in. That should rebalance ourselves. And we should see. I think we are seeing. Compression. So there we go. That's got that outpost now to 100%, which is good. That's what we're after. We want uh, the line to be completely compressed so that we're getting the maximum amount of resources per second. If we come up, yeah. That all seems to be working nicely. We've got the same thing here, it's just a coal mining outpost with a radar, and this is a really nice move because this radar will actually tell you if there's new biters spawning near you. You'll notice that there's plenty of biters over there. Let's see how many followers we can have. 20, 25, 30, 35. Let's bring the pain. Let 
the fun and games begin. So this is what happens when you have a high enough robot follow account. You can just waltz into whatever you want and, and just destroy things. It's a lot of fun. As you can tell, you could take out a lot of biter bases very quickly with this kind of technology. And it's a lot of fun, like it's really really cool. Because up till this point in the game, you are just struggling mightily to uh, to handle it. And when you get to this stage, it's like, yeah, bring the pain. Let's let's have a bit of fun with it and just waltz basically. You just walk through anything you want because they the biters can't get close enough to touch you. And you know you can just keep going. You notice now that I've, I've only burnt through, well I haven't lost any destroyers, and I'm just taking them out en masse. There's a lot of things going on right now, but I'm in no real danger. Um, if I start losing destroyers, then I will be, and I will have to rethink my strategy. But it's uh, it's pretty uh, pretty easy to handle. The only difference I would make is probably to put some extra legs in the Mark II armor to get us a little bit more speed. Um, a second fusion um, reactor wouldn't go amiss either. That'd be really, really handy, I think, uh, just to generate that extra bit of power to drive some legs, and, and that'll really keep us away from the enemies. So, pretty cool. So, no shortage of uh, any artifacts now. Anyway, I think that'll uh, that'll do it for this fix it. It's been a pretty uh, pretty easy fix it. Nothing was wrong with the factory. It was just um, yeah more balanced towards a considered approach. I think it's it's probably a thinking man's factory rather than the balls out as fast as you can do it kind of factory that I normally create um, and a very good effort obviously it was good enough to beat the game and uh, not really much required from yours truly uh, it was it was all good really um, so thank you very much for watching this episode of Factorio Fix It uh, it's been a pleasure having you back again if you'd like me to play your factory just send it through on uh, email to uh, rootnegative at gmail.com and I'd love to have a look at it I've got another couple coming up have a couple planned, but it is always a week-by-week -week thing. As people send them in, I'll uh, I know what's. Uh... Ooh, look at that! Cool. Turns out we actually needed some to do the ro robot follow account eleven research. But yeah, it's a week-by-week -week thing, and provided people keep sending them in, I'll keep playing them. Uh, it's been a good series so far. I've enjoyed it very much. I've got another episode by. Uh, Coral, Coriolanus, I think it is. Uh, that'll be coming up next. Until next time, see you later.